In order to know whether you fall within 5% or tax percent, you can always refer to the order earlier called the rates of tax order, or you can always go to this various goods guide, guide on proposed sales tax is much more easier to understand. But if you cannot find your products, then highly likely you have to go back to the order already. Who are exempted from registration? Now, Schedule A of exemption from registration order talks about a few people. For example, if you are a person developing and printing a photograph or production of field slides, you are not subject to sales tax, you don't have to register. Or if you incorporate goods into buildings, you are manufacturer of ready mixed concrete, you preparation of meals, so you are production of copies of documents by photocopy or similar copying process, printing houses, for example. You're doing repackaging of bulk goods into smaller packages other than registered, registered manufacturer. You're not required to register. Repair of secondhand or used goods are not required to register. Now, these are the list. Some of the list is not the full list. If you want to check the full list, always go to this schedule A. Now, who are exempted from payment of tax? These are the people, for example, your Agong, the ruler of any state, federal or state government. So these are people that do not have to pay sales tax. If you import certain production samples or let's say you have any local manufactured goods exported and subsequently will be re-imported for reprocessing or goods temporary import and re-export or temporary export to use abroad. So these items is not subject to sales tax. You are required to furnish a certificate, means you have to apply upfront. Schedule B talks about goods exempted. So goods which is used to manufacture of control articles or control goods, price control is not subject to sales tax. So all goods used in manufacture of pharmaceutical products is not subject to sales tax. All goods used in manufacture of milk and taxable raw materials and components solely for the use in manufacture of export goods for export is not subject to sales tax. Schedule C is one of the most important exemption which we can apply. And last time they used to call it CJ5. Now they have changed it under Schedule C. So who are the people that can exempt under this schedule? Let's look at number one. Number one talks about any registered manufacturer and the goods that you are exempted is raw materials, components, and packaging materials, excluding petroleum. The conditions are you have to approve by DG. And then the goods is either you import or purchase from another registered manufacturer where they charge you sales tax. Or you buy from a warehouse license under Section 65, Licensed Manufacturer Warehouse, LMW. And this goods is solely used in manufacture of finished goods. Okay, so if you have all this condition fulfilled, you can always apply through the MySST portal. Exemption number three talks about CJ5A. For example, if let's say I'm a vendor, I'm just a middle person, I buy from B and subsequently sell to A, just a middle person acting on behalf. So when B sell me 100 plus 10, which this is the sales tax, when I sell to A, I cannot charge sales tax. Now in that case, customs say you can always apply for CJ5A to cancel off this sales tax 10%. Number five, talk about CJ5B. For example, if I'm a registered manufacturer, I go to a subcontractor to value at certain services. So the registered manufacturer will apply for CJ5B from the customs and then submit this form to subcontractor. So when I deliver these goods and subsequently sell back these goods to me, they cannot charge me sales tax. If you like this video, please share it, give us a thumbs up. I will see you in the next one. This is Song signing off.